Well, my problem I is had that the, like, I like Ariana Grande drink from Starbucks, and it was pretty good. Oh, that's disgusting. Nothing <laughs> from Starbucks is good. Don't I, ever I, say that. I'm words a big again. fan of Ariana Grande. I no, 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 I no, had no, to no, try no. it. There's so, nothing good Starbucks? about Starbucks. Not really. Okay, so as someone who does not is... know shit about coffee, Starbucks like is passable for me. No. <laughs> Starbucks is the worst. <laughs> I go there every anytime I go to Starbucks and it's always uh into a foreign town where I'm like, oh there's no coffee stands here, I guess I go to a Starbucks and you go get like, hey, can I get a sixteen ounce Americano with a cream in uh just like a little bit of room? And I'm like, Oh, you mean a Fenty? And I'm like, Fuck you. I said <laughs> sixteen ounce Americano, three shots, cream and they're like Fenty, blah blah, and I'm like, I'm gonna murder this bitch. I'm gonna punch her in her throat. I'm gonna murder her. Fuck you. Fuck you. Every you're single coffee drink Fenty. I've had came from Starbucks. I gotta be real. Yeah, I think we, every Jesus. coffee I've had has come from Starbucks. Have to have it correctly, or Gosh, we don't. Want I go it at insane all. when someone says like, "Oh, you want a 16 ounce?" and you're like, "Is that a two?" and you're like, "Is that a two shot or a three shot?" and they're like, "Oh, it's two shots." I'm like. Fuck you! I'm paying extra for a 12-ounce drink! You're gonna have a shot, <laughs> goddammit! And they're like, no, the 12-ounce and the 16-ounce are the same! I'm like, you're an asshole! I don't want you! <laughs> Holy shit. I get so well, angry when a 12-ounce is the same as a 16-ounce! No espresso shot should be the same! <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, I would go through the head-to-toe assessment of like, you have pain in this arm, and then sometimes those Mexicans would be like, yeah, 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 I got chronic pain, chronic pain. I have pain here. And but you're like, no, 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 present pain over this thing. And they wouldn't understand what I'm saying. So <laughs> I always like, had this translator. <laughs> yeah. I would always have this translator on my phone, and I would say, do you have specific pain regarding the accident? And then it would be like, donde es la baba dolor aquí, here? And then they'd be like, ah, C, 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 C. And I'm like, that's, that's too many yeses. One yes is okay. And then you're just sitting there, like, playing fucking charades with the guy who got in my car. Like, this isn't going This isn't going work at all. Jesus. That's all I ever did. Like, I did that for three years. And I remember oh, my, uh, my supervisor, when I quit, my, my supervisor was like, hey, just so you know, I'm never hiring a Mexican that can't speak Spanish again. And my, I, mean, I never said I did in the first place, so... Yeah, that was your loss. And the joke's on you. And he's like, God. he's shaking his head like, I can't believe it. I mean, like, a city that's 90% Mexican. They speak Spanish as their main language. You go to Taco Bell, you think you're in that shit in English? You can tell that the 10% was upset. Yep. That 10% was like, you're speaking Spanish! Uh. Spanish. This is America, and they're like, "Oh, God. sorry, 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 sorry." <laughs> oh, would you like some uh, enchiladas, some tacos? And then be like, "Yeah, yeah, I would just like some a couple tacos, some crunchy tacos, and like a bean burrito, if I could, oh my please." God. Thank you. Holy shit! Oh. That, that that town was so crazy. Their Walmart had Mexican-only products. Can you imagine what that sounds like? <laughs> go to a Walmart, and it's just all Mexican products. You go into the store, and you uh, don't even understand the language that you're reading when you grab the package. That was that town. Oh, so I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Haynes? I know, you you're not Haynes kidding. There? It's fucking... No. Sounds like my fucking town. <laughs> it's like legitimately just all mm, Spanish-oriented uh, products that were in the Walmart. Uh, I didn't see a single thing besides Jack Link's that was in English, uh. so to speak. Like Jack Links and like fucking Lay's uh. were like the only things you got. Oh, God. Like, oh yeah, I know what that is. Fuck. Uh. And I did that for like three years and I was like, fuck uh. this, I gotta go somewhere where people speak American again. <laughs> American. God. I, I remember God. telling my mom every day, but like, hey, your people don't know how to like do anything good in America. <laughs> And my mom would be like, fuck you, like, just just deal with it, like, here's some words that you can use in your job. And I'm like, no, 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 mom, you don't get it. But then when I was in my 20s, I was like, mom, I knew you were calling me a cunt my entire life. And she's like, bah. And I was like, cunt. I called you a bitch. I called you a bitch. I called you a bitch. 
And I'd be like, fuck you. Like, Jesus you can't call uh, your son it. But, like, my mom thought she was so cute. And my dad thought it was funny. Because he would do the same thing. <laughs> and my brothers, my brothers and I, like, collaborated. But, like, is our mom calling us a cunt? Like, is that what's happening right now? It's like, she's calling us a cunt. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked up that Spanish word, man. That's a cunt. That's a cunt. And that's a cocksucker. And I'll be like, wait, they calling us cocksuckers? And I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, they're calling us a cocksucker. And I'm like, who's calling us a cocksucker? Like, dad's calling us a cocksucker. I'm like, dad doesn't like us? <laughs> pieces like oh they just God. felt like they were a gamble on like the, the english language and like just fucking with their mexican kids oh god my friend fucking troy has that same relationship with his parents oh, dude, it's, it's so, so confusing yeah. <laughs> oh. they, they thought it was funny too <laughs> hey if you ever, if you ever like bring it up, they'll just like giggle and be like, huh, you still a cunt? And like my mom, like to this day, Christ. will be like, I don't care. Like you're still a bitch to me. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, you're, God. it's a wonder why I only call you like once a month. And then, <laughs> and then, then oh. she'll like pull that ga- that Catholic guilt shit and be like, oh, you know, mother, you, you don't love your mother? The woman that put you into this life? Oh. Oh, Dios mío. He don't love his mother. God will only forgive you for that. And he's like, fuck you. Fuck you so much. And your dad be like, your mother cares about you so much more than you think she does. Oh fuck my you God, for being a shitty. And you might... Dad says. Uh, <laughs> what? I mean, I love you, Mom. And you text her like 3 in the morning being like, I still think about you to this moment. And then she she be like, love you too, honey. And you're like, okay, that, that brought me like two weeks. I, that bought me two weeks. <laughs> call her again. I gotta see her. I gotta do something. I gotta buy her flowers. Like, Catholic Gil is such a motherfucker. Like, I gotta say, I don't even believe in God, but like, Catholic Gil still haunts my soul. It's pretty bad. It's at pretty every bad. moment. Like, it's such a burden. Like, who cares about those kids getting raped by like the priests? Like Catholic <laughs> guilt is way worse than them getting raped by priests. Like I gotta say that right now. <clears throat> oh my god. That was a uh, joke, but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Just don't care, they just put it aside. They don't They're just like, yeah, whatever, this is just coffee oh th- th- this uh, guy wanted three shots so we're gonna burn two shots and then pour all yeah. three together uh, so one tastes good but uh, like two don't and so when you go to sip it and you're like oh this tastes like, like what fucking the fuck is this this tastes Shit. like uh, a 12 year old's asshole and I'm like i don't know what that tastes like, and I'm like <laughs> oh my yeah, god you do <laughs> you butthole and you're like i mean maybe <laughs> but like uh, i'm fuck. not a catholic priest i swear <laughs> <laughs> but like it's just, it's such a different taste, because, like, most, this guy is of, good. most of the time, like, they take pride in, like, just giving you a good cu- cup of coffee. Word that describes a person who is or was something that's different, and that was a thing. I don't think trendy's a bad word. That's what I'm getting at, is I don't think... I'm, I know some people are going to try to do, make it a derogatory term, but mm-hmm. tranny should not be one of those things. Tranny... Granny, you say black, blacky. You're adding a lie to that. You're really legitimately making it worse. You're making black a word. That's a bad word. No, I'm saying you can't. You can't make a lie on something that's ter- terrible. You made a lie for the terrible. Blacky is a bad word. Granny is just like granny. It's just a casual thing that most Americans have always done. Let's think about it. American American English speaking people have always added a Y and thought it was fun. It was playful. That's why grannies exist. Oh uh, god. But like you add you add a Y to something that already existed and like now that makes it racist. You know, most my black people should not have a Y to the end of the name. That makes it racist. But tranny is just an endearing quality that existed before 
the, you know, the racist connotation. So, I, Kat, I disagree with, I disagree with your ability that it, I, I disagree with your argument that it is racist. I think that it's just a thing that occurs naturally. No, oh, you're racist, sexist, sexist, whatever. <laughs> transphobic, transphobic. It's not even transphobic. It's yeah, just, it's a, it's a net. It's, a tra- it's not even transphobic. It's a natural reaction to a word that already existed and is now being shortened to uh, just identify people. It's not even that. It's not even. It's not even transphobic. You can't say it's transphobic because it's just identifying a group of people that already existed. It's even in porn where you're like, hey, tranny porn. Maybe, but like nowadays, you go to X. You go to X videos, X hamster. Fucking Pornhub, and you go to like Trinity Point, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna see fucking this really hot chick with a dick slam this guy's pussy. And you're like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. How can I get more of this? Like, no, no man, no sane straight man is gonna be like, yeah, fuck that. That tranny is a tranny. I can't suck, I can't slap my dick to that shit. You know that that guy's gonna be like, I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna bait to this. I'm still gonna do it. Like I already, I already see the. I'm already here. <laughs> yeah. Like, just think of, just think of it that way. Just... <laughs> yeah, cat. Just think of it that way. Like every time you think like somebody's being derogatory about trans, like every, every so often there's gonna be that, that normal, straight cis man that's like, yeah, tranny porn is kind of cool. And he's just like slapping his knee to it. He's just like, yeah, I, mean, I'm like, I don't care that much about it. I mean, like, yeah, I guess tranny isn't the best word to use, but like at the same time, it's the hot spot for trying to get that good stuff. And he's already on fucking. You should. It should be like porn M. It's like porn MD. Like, where can I get the best porn? Tranny porn. And you're like, ah, oh, we got so much of that. Come here. We have like 20 tubes. Set down to like search on them. Like, Porn MD has the best stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's my favorite. It's all trading for porn. Y'all are like old enough to like actually probably have been uploading porn. Like, if any, it's just like a cool word that they can search the best fucking stuff. <laughs> I mean, like, at least I do. Like, that's for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is that a new perspective there, Cap? Uh, that's all I'm trying to give you. You're welcome. I never think oh, of tranny as just a derogatory term. I'm not Washington. Dude, I've had this argument in Oregon. I was I was yelling I was uh, arguing with a stripper over the fact that she wanted like me to spend more money on something in, in Oregon, Portland. I was in Portland and I was like uh I was I was, I was getting a lap dance and she was showing me her cooter and she's like, you know, for like a hundred dollars more I can take you to the next back room. I was like, wait, I'm already spending forty dollars. What's gonna happen back there? And she's like, you know, fun stuff and I was like, I already had the fun stuff, so what's happening fun stuff now that's gonna happen fun stuff later and she's like, I just can't explain it, baby, but like things are gonna be different. I'm like, I don't know. You understand me, bitch. Like, I'm already getting fun stuff. And so I'm already arguing with her, and she, that just fucking drew her crazy. Like, she was just like, I'm now going to, like, not fuck this guy, but, like, I'm going to punch him in the throat. <laughs> and I, and I was like, so we, we argued for a good five minutes of her lap dancing me past the song, which still is a win in my book, because titties. And, but then she's like, uh... So are you gonna pay the hundred dollars or not? And I was like, I don't know what that really gets me because I already got <sighs> what I wanted. Maybe I didn't come, but like, you know, you got a good body. And she's like, a good body? <laughs> Am I supposed to say great? Am I supposed to say great? <laughs> You're not my girlfriend. Like, what am I supposed to say? Was good not enough? <laughs> I'm so confused. And so now I'm thinking, like, I'm in a relationship with a stripper, but I'm not. Like, I didn't spend that much money on this chick. But here she is, just, like, fishing me out. Like, and I'm like, oh, God, I must be in a relationship. How much I I should really tell her that she's amazing. Are you two gonna fucking kiss or what? Like, what the fuck? (laughs) 
<laughs> like Jesus. In the other room, we like to <laughs> join on them and say that shit. So Diamond's the one who you can feel it if you nope. stroke their leg, right? Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fuck off with this shit. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Fuck off, you little shit. <laughs> Fucking beat you with my cane, you motherfucker. <laughs> and like not doing anything. And I'm like, oh my god! And she's still slapping my cheeks. And like, I'm like, no. No. And my noodle head is still stuck inside her vagina, so she's like, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, why well, is not happening? I'm not doing anything. And she's still slapping shakes, and my head is still stuck, and I'm like, please stop. I'm done. I'm so done. And then, like, at one point, I, I was like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm coming. I came up inside her. And the moment I'm done, you, you, don't run away. <laughs> and what happens is like she comes back, like she she jumps off me as I come, and immediately goes to the bathroom and starts throwing up all over the place. Like she doesn't even get inside the bowl. I like I I was like I was standing there, dick came, and I'm like naked, and I'm like look at myself. And she's oh. in the bathroom throwing up, and all I can hear is, <laughs> and I'm like, wait, I have a suit on. Like, I had like a businessman suit on. Like, I had a suit pant. I had a three button up uh, suit. I didn't take that shit off. I was still suited. All my, the only thing that was out was my dick. So I go to the bathroom. And I look over. And I see her, and she's throwing up. And I'm like, oh, that's not so good. And I was like, wait, I think I might have to throw up. So I go to the kitchen, which is just like a couple steps away, and I go to the kitchen. And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm, I, mean, I guess I'm pretty good." And like her friend's like, "You, you good?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You should go check on your friend." She's like, oh, "Okay, I would go check on my friend." There? Oh, her friend is the one that the, drove us to her place, her her friend's place. And so no, she's like in the corner, just she like. Was, <laughs> She was yes. she was in the next yeah. room. She she was in her own room. She was in her own room. Her friend in distress and was like, "Hey, is she okay?" And I was like, "No, go check on her." And as she went to say, "No, go check on her." Well, I mean, like I said that, I immediately threw up all over her dirty dishes in her in her kitchen sink. And I was like, <laughs> and I just threw up everywhere. And she's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, 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 I think I'm done. <laughs> and I threw up again all over these, like, fucking dishes. And I didn't rinse them out at all. I was just like, oh, my God. And I went outside and I just started peeing all over the house. Because, like, I got to pee, but that bitch is still throwing up in the bathroom. And then, like, her friend was like, um, I'm going to take you home. It's not a big deal. But, like, can you just go home? And I was like, yeah. I don't know where home is. I was at my house. <laughs> About ready to throw up outside the window. Just hanging her head out. I'm like, that's the girl I had sex with? She's just hanging her head out the window the entire time? That's cool. I mean, like, I guess she has no apparent reason to, like, hold her like her. Anyway, so, she's ready to pass out. And I'm like, I can't believe I slept with a girl that was, like, hashtagging me chewing me. Yeah, at least future reference on that. But, like... I uh, I get back to my friend's house and the girl that dropped me off was her friend, the one that heard us having sex. She says, I know that w didn't last that long. And I was like, do you think like my dick was definitely rope through most of that intercourse old stuff happening? And she's like, but I mean, like, if you want to have a fun time some other time, like, here's my number. Takes my phone, dials her name in, her and roommate I'm like, wait. was asking you for yeah, sex? Her yeah, no, her roommate was just saying, like, I'll go on a date with you and see if we can sleep with you, with, okay. with each other. But I was like, e yeah, I mean, After sure. After you that a girl like down so uh, bad, she throws up? Uh, yeah, but, like, yeah, the girl was really dirty. Like, both girls were dirty. The one girl was reading a book at a party, and I, like, somehow was like, this girl has big dick energy. I'm going to, like, talk to her and, like, have sex with her. She's reading a book at a party. 
She's smart. She wasn't that smart, but like, definitely autistic, I think. Anyway, so like I was like, I was getting out of the car. I was looking at the girl, and she was give, she was typing her number in my phone, and she's like, "If you want to have a good time, just like call me sometime." And I was just like, "Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what I'm gonna do." And so I remember like typing. And then she typed her number in my phone. She said her name. I walk into my friend's house, and then like my friend wakes up because he's like, "Hey, what the fuck happened to you? Like, what's happening?" And I'm like. Buddy, you know that like four you told me not to have sex with? He's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I had sex with her. And he's like, uh, really? And I was like, yeah, yeah, man. It's this is like a bad situation. I don't want to talk about it. He's like, all right, man, that's cool. And then he like tucked me in the bed, and I woke up in the morning. And the first thing I wake up to is I have a cup of coffee next to me. He's like, hey, buddy, just so you know, you had sex with that four. I just want to let you know that. Like, here's here's her photo on Facebook, and like he shows me the photo, of her and me next to each other. And I'm like, I, I didn't need to know that. He's like, no, no, this is this is like good evidence though. Like, you really had sex with that girl. She read a book at my party. She's weird. And I was like, ah, oh, Jesus. Like, that's not cool. And uh, I was like, I, I just, I, I bull, I guess. Like, I guess I had sex with that girl. Oh, she haunts me to this day. I get, uh, like, once a year.